Dr. Robert Malone, the inventor of mRNA vaccine technology, is back again because Dr. Malone got a lot of questions about this FDA approval stuff because as they say in The Princess Bride, I do not think it means what I think it means or whatever they say. And I've heard you on a couple other podcasts talking about how mainstream media may not be covering this exactly correctly and maybe misleading people in a way. So I want to get your thoughts on it. First thing I want to do, though, is just show you a clip of a local TV station in Atlanta. I just analyzed kind of repeating what we're hearing all over mainstream news. So let's just listen to that real fast and then get your thoughts. President Biden urging anyone who had lingering doubts about the COVID-19 vaccine to get the shot. His message coming after the FDA gave full approval to Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine. And it is the first in the nation to win full FDA approval for those 16 and older. So this move is expected to open the door for more schools, more businesses to begin requiring vaccinations. And doctors are hopeful this designation will convince more people to get the shot. That is the hope. So I have a couple questions specifically about that, but let's just go straight to, they keep saying full FDA approval. First thing to get full FDA approval. We heard that multiple times it was on the banner in the background. Did this vaccine get full FDA approval? What, tell, tell us what's really going on behind the scenes here. So thanks for that lead in. Um, what, what we've got here is another case of the, and I, I think increasingly we need to call it legacy media, not mainstream media. It's the old school folks and they're not doing their job. They're taking the FDA press release at face value and, the, and they're taking the party line that the government is promoting at face value. And they're not actually looking under the covers at the documents that are actually provided by the FDA and the strategy that the FDA is using. If you do that, it has the appearance of, a, some people call it three card Monty or a shell game. There's actually two approval letters. And uh, what does approval mean? Well, technically, when they say full approval, what the FDA has authority over is interstate commerce. That's what the federal government has authority over. And, and FDA has authority to regulate the safety, efficacy, purity, uh, potency of drug products that are marketed uh, interstate. So what they're offering here in one of these two letters is authorization to market in response to what's called a biologic license application. So those are the fancy regulatory terms. And what it means is that they've allowed one of these two vaccines, because they've now legally split them into two vaccines, to be marketed at such time as it becomes available. So the other vaccine is the one that you all know about, which is the Pfizer product that is currently available under emergency use authorization. And that's the other letter that they provided, which is a, an extension of that emergency use authorization. So the, the truth is that the, um, it's called commodity, I believe that's how it's pronounced, is the BioNTech product. This is BioNTech is a German company that is being manufactured and distributed by Pfizer called Comernity, is licensed, but it has conditions. Calling it full approval is also a bit misleading. Uh, the other one is the old Pfizer one that's still on the shelves, still in the stockpile in the United States, still in the freezers, and that's the Pfizer one. So the truth is that you can't go down to Walmart or Walgreens or CVS or your favorite place and go get a jab from the FDA licensed one because it's not available, because they haven't manufactured it yet, and they haven't filled and finished it yet. Why haven't they done that? Because they've just approved the label that has to be put on it, and the uh, documentation about uh, adverse events, that's the package insert that goes into the little box, in the box itself. And so now they're able to start printing all those things, filling and finish those vials, etc. Now, the community product that is so labeled is currently available offshore. It's available in other countries, but it's not available in the States. Now, there's some ambiguity here about that certainly the one under emergency use authorization has full indemnification. What does that mean? If you get hurt, there's not much you can do about it. There's nobody really that you can sue. In the case of the licensed product, there's an indemnification, there's a, a 
a fund that's been set up by the federal government that you can apply to and get potential compensation for your damages that's set up by con Congress. And so if you care about these things, whether you have any legal recourse at all, if you do experience an adverse event, you'll probably want to insist on getting the product that's labeled Comirnaty that is actually the one that the FDA has authorized. Does that make sense? If I understand correctly, it's like they've okay, they've approved something that doesn't exist. That's that's the main point, right? It it is it is so to not to split hairs. It is substantially similar to the one that is the emergency use authorized product, but it is not legally the same. And there is some latitude for them to make some minor tweaks on the dial in terms of the formulation as they're filling this new product labeled Comirnaty that will be licensed and will, in theory, be covered under the clause for allowing you to recoup damages under the Vaccines Fund. But when they're still protected. <laughs> gotcha. When would we expect to see that? So that the reality is what we're seeing on the, um, the or, FDA. Uh, yeah, the FDA says, well, we don't really know. Um, sometime in the future. Uh, could be tomorrow. Uh, could be a month from now. Could be six months from now. Because they have to package, fill, finish, test, release, etc. Usually that takes a little while, like, say, a month or two. Um, but I, I, maybe they've got a huge backlog and there was, uh, you know, wink, wink, nod, nod, uh, communication between the FDA about what was going to be their requirements. And so they went ahead and started filling at risk. I think they're so flat out against the wall in terms of their manufacturing that there's a good chance that they haven't started the runs yet for these. Um, and uh, they're, they're still busy filling the old Pfizer-labeled product. 